So I've got the shoes, tried them on, tested them out, walked around a bit, and now it's time to put the clips in, and this is how you do that. So the clips I always get are just Shimano's. These are standard SPD cleats. They're like 20 bucks a set or 10 bucks a set, I think. Um, you, the prices kind of vary. You can get them on deals sometimes for like five bucks a set. Whatever the case, don't ever overpay. Don't pay like 30 bucks or 25 bucks. You can get them for pretty cheap. Um, they are, in all seriousness, like the standard cleat and standard clip arrangement, right? Um, very easy to clip in and out, very easy to install. They got two little screws as you just saw. Um, these are the H2O Hydros. As I mentioned in the last video, I'm gonna do an actual ride test with those. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those hooked up with some cleats first. Um, the, the size of the Allen wrench, I believe is a 532. Um, of course, I have an Allen wrench set for metric and US measurement because everything's psycho and everybody wants to use every single dis different type of size you can think of so i just have all of them anyway you just take this off you get two little extra bolts then because it just takes off the little rubber sole piece and then you have that all right so when you put these in all right shoe, so when you put these in and you look at the shoe you'll see that there is four screw holes two in the front two in the back you need to determine where you want the actual cleat to sit in the shoe. Generally, I like mine to be closer to the ball of my foot than toward the arch of my foot. So I'm gonna put them in the front part of the shoe. So the front two screw holes there. It's important because if you don't get this right, your feet will hurt a lot when you're riding around. So you need to get this adjusted and you need to be able to make adjustments over time to make sure that your, your cleat is in the right place and is sitting into the clip the right way and that you're not tearing up your foot or straining your foot or pulling your muscles or whatever. So make sure you get it in right. And if you don't get it in right, move it around some, try out different positions. For me, more detailed analysis here of how to put this in, you got you got the two little bolts, the two little screws, and then you got this washer, and then you have the actual cleat, right? The cleat has teeth on one side. Let's see there. The teeth on the one side, the part that goes into the front of the clip, and the part that engages in the back with the little round bits. So this with the, so you can kind of see, it's got like beveled edges, the beveled edges go up and sit into this like this and move back and forth so you can adjust it. Then these with the screw heads like that sit into the beveled edges perfectly flush. Okay, so you put those in like so. All right, focus camera, focus. There we go. Okay, now with this assembled, because you don't really have to take it apart. It comes like that in the package. In the shoe, I'm putting them in the front bolt holes there, or fr front screw holes, whatever. So I just kind of set it in, kind of let the, let the screws find their position, and I adjust it where the teeth will fit into the shoe well. And if you can, you can even easily just kind of turn the screws a little bit with your finger even kind of get them to hone in and hunt for the first turn of the screw threads. So once you've done that though, I use this, this is a 532nd Allen wrench, or however you say that, 32, 532, whatever. Um, and I use the little part to turn it so you can turn it faster, but I only turn it slowly and I tighten it a little bit and I don't tighten it tightly like i don't use all my strength at all i barely use my finger strength even and i get those into position so that the teeth actually dig into the shoe just a little bit and once those are pretty firmly in place again not tightened too much but firmly in place so that the teeth start to kind of sit in the shoe well then i can actually go try them on and go ride around the block a few times or whatever and see if they need adjusted and then I can more easily 
loosen them up and put them back in. But also, once I confirm that they're in their correct position, I ride a few blocks, make sure they're set good, and then I tighten them one more time with it like this and using the long arm, but I tighten it again just a little bit. You don't want to over tighten it. If you strip your threads in your shoe, you kind of screwed. You need new shoes then, and that's no fun. So take it easy, tighten it just a little bit at a time until you get it adjusted just right for the position and the tightness to make sure that they don't pull out into the clip itself or something like that. So that's how you put in the cleats with the screws and bolts in your badass bike shoes.